Hello to all my lively ladies. You're very welcome back. My name is Trish and you're very welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I have you a 30 minute strength workout and we are getting stronger every day. Great. And I, I, that title was inspired by a lot of the comments that I am getting in on the channel. People telling me that they are really feeling stronger, their squats and their lunges are improving, their balance is improving. That is wonderful. And I even have a few people telling me that they are dropping a few pounds. That is absolutely great. And that, you know, is all your hard work and your consistency and showing up here with all the workouts that I put out. So it's really paying off for you. And just staying consistent with your eating habits is so important. Remember, if you're eating properly, you don't need to snack between meals. So it's really important that you make sure that you're eating good, wholesome, nutritious food that keeps you satisfied for many hours so you don't have to snack in between your meals. Okay, so it's all about not going on that roller coaster ride all day, insulin up, insulin down, insulin up, insulin down. And by snacking in between meals, this is what happens as we go on the uh, insulin roller coaster. You don't want to be on that roller coaster. So just make sure that you are eating good. Every time you eat, there's an adequate amount of protein. Good fats, good fats come from oils like coconut oil and olive oils. Um, nuts, seeds, avocados, all of these contain healthy, good fats, natural yogurt as well. And uh, try to keep away from yogurts that have uh, sugar in them, okay? Because they're very, 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 very high in sugar and will just shoot your insulin up really high. Let's get warmed up now. So thank you so much for all your comments coming in. And also, I'd just like to say while I have the opportunity, Thank you to everybody who has supported my channel. And if you're not aware, I do have a link in the description box below the video. It's called Support My Work and it's just buy me a coffee. So it's for as little as two euro, you can really help me to keep bringing you videos like this three times a week um, in the future. Good work, so that really does help me. Okay, let's drive those arms by our side. Drive those knees up a little higher. Now, what are we doing today? Okay, we have a strength workout and um, we have 13 exercises. We have a short water break, come back and repeat them, okay? I do love doing at least two rounds of strength exercises because the moves are a little bit more technical and you might need that second round just for that nervous system to tune in, okay? Now, you will need a chair. Let's go forward and back, switch it up a little bit. So I have a chair here. There are the last two exercises are plank exercises, but if you don't, and they're floor exercises, but if you don't want to go to the floor, have a chair handy or a coffee table or something sturdy, okay? Great, well done. Now also, if you have trouble with squats and lunges, because there are a few coming up today with it being a strength workout, I will do my best to show you some alternatives and you can see how you get on with them, okay? All right, let's punch out that ceiling now. Good, keep those legs coming up. Well done. You can move off the spot if you don't find the coordination too tricky. Great, if you do, stay here in one place and focus and focus. Punch out that ceiling. You want to get those arms nice and warm and mobile and those shoulders. Good, now out to the front, chest press, chest. Pull back, so when you pull back, your elbows come back far enough allow you to squeeze your shoulder blades gently together and that means you're warming up your trapezius and your rhomboids great and shoulders again good and chest great work now keep the legs moving drop the arms let's change up the legs now we're going to heel dig heel dig heel great so just slight bend in the knee here the deeper you go with your hips, tailbone to floor, the more quad and glute will work, okay? But watch your knees with it. Make sure you're bending slightly there. Reach up, reach, reach again, bringing the trunk into it, getting mobile, front of the shoulder. Great, and a great stretch there for the chest, the upper chest area. That's it, can you do two arms? Let's try two arms now. Great. All these different combinations help to keep your brain healthy as well and make new connections, particularly if you're new to these videos or you're new to exercise in general. Good. And reach and reach. 
and reach. Now let's rest those arms. Let's uh, make the heel dig a little wider. Widen the gap between your legs and take it off the spot. Good. Walking heel digs. There's so many different forms of walking. It's incredible what you can come up with if you use your imagination. Do it again. I'm just letting my hips drop down. Slight bend in the knee, getting that heart rate up. Let's do four more and we'll take it into some leg curl or hamstring curl. Two and one. Now kick your bum. Kick. Good. Bringing the arms in again. Nice and strong. Not just flying arms or limbs everywhere. Just making a slight fist. Nothing too intense because you don't want to bring tension up to the arm, up to the neck. Good. Good. Breathe. Breathe. Nice tall spine. That's it. Good work. I'm using a light pair of dumbbells today, about a kilogram each. You can go a little heavier and I could go heavier, but because I have to give a lot of instruction, I find that just going a little bit lighter is just works for me. But you go heavier if you can, okay? That's it. Good. Now, crisscross. Legs are doing the same thing. Just crossing the arm over the chest area bringing it up a little higher if you can if not down to your tummy to just letting the muscles work and um, fighting gravity okay good four to go let's leave out the arms three two now hold the legs out wide and do our torso reaches lovely stretch to do in the warm-up reach across reach and reach good reach and reach well done Feeling nice and stretched now. Yes, it's great. Feeling a lovely stretch from my shoulder to the hip. Let's do four, three, hold those legs out for me. And one. Now we're going into some squats. If you're having trouble, maybe you have knee issues or that. If I know some people have problems with their joints, just do a little mini squat. Even just drop your hips a couple of inches. That's it, good, just to keep that heart rate up. You can try a box squat, which is a squat I absolutely love, where you have your chair here today, a mat, you might need a mat as well, just while I think of it, just for those two floor exercises at the end. But anyway, if you're doing a box squat, you can just tap your bum off the chair and then just drive your body out of the chair. Okay, and they're always great for anyone that has issues because when you think about it, we're sitting, we sit down on a chair during the day, and when you go to the bathroom, you're sitting down on what is practically a seat, your toilet. <laughs> okay, so if you're having issues with squatting, try that. Try your box squat. You can leave out the weights. Don't worry about them for that. Good. And two to go. And last one. Okay, let's just do a few chest openers and we'll get started. So the first move, super, super challenging exercise. But when we're working on strength, we've got to get these exercises in that we might avoid <laughs> otherwise. Always the ones that are super challenging we tend to avoid. But anyway, we'll get them in here today. You can leave out weights. Remember, you can always build strength. You keep going there with your chest open, just keep your heart rate up a little bit. You can always build strength with your own body weight. I'm going to do a split squat shoulder press, but if you want to use a chair for assistance, just do a mini split squat, okay? Just down. Okay, little squat. And you can actually even work one side. We're doing two rounds. You could put that dumbbell in one free hand and up over the seat. Now, if you still find that that's too hard for you, you could just try. You can bring your weights in or do a body weight. A step forward and reach up to the ceiling. So like a more of a forward step, okay? Would, um, or a mini lunge, a forward mini lunge and reach up or just a forward stepping and reach up so that you're not missing out on the first exercise and we have to do the other leg exercise six right let's get going i'll talk you through everything else as we get there right split squat oops don't forget my timers okay get those weights up on the shoulder you can actually do the weights down here if you want to but it takes a bit longer to get into the shoulder press though i like them up here i think it works well now step your right leg behind you and reach up, good, reach up, well done. Again, you can make it a mini lunge. These are also called stationary 
uh, squats as well, okay? Reach up. I like to call them lunging. Stationary lunging, or, or sorry, they're always called split squats. That's what I meant to say. Good. Good, reach up. Now power up with those weights. 45 seconds of work, if I forgot to say it to you. 15 to rest. You can increase the work time if you want, up to 50 seconds. That's great. Now we're going to do back rows. So I want you to stick your bottom out behind you. Okay, march there just to transition between each exercise. I'm going to alternate rowing. Okay. Now you can join in with me if you want. You don't need to be taking 15 seconds of rest. Relax your neck. Pull that elbow back right behind you. Great. And row. Now keep the elbow close to your rib cage. You'll see a lot of people with this exercise and they'll flare out the arms. So that's with weights, that's quite dangerous for your elbow. Tuck everything in. That's it. Have you got your belly button engaged? Pull your belly button up towards your spine. You should feel tension there around the center of your body. Drive the elbows back. I've got some dive unders next. With or without weights, you choose. They are challenging for the hips. Now, if you can't do deep bends of the knee like this, I want you just to step over, okay? Just step over and bend your knee slightly, okay? All right, we get ready for this one. 45 seconds of this is tough. Okay, down. Just imagine you're going under a rope. That's it, under the rope. Good. Reach up tall. Again, keep your abdominal wall engaged. So you need to keep tightness in around your, your lower trunk there, your lower abs. That's it. Good, you feel the glutes working? Yeah, I'm feeling mine. I did an exercise, uh, workout yesterday with lots of glutes, glute exercises. So I'm really feeling the stiffness and soreness, a little bit of soreness in them today. Good. See if you can dive down. Good. Down a little bit lower if you can. Okay. Good work. Now we have our goblet squat. So here's where your chair will come in handy if you're having issues. But we're just doing one goblet squat, two pulses. Okay. If you want to just leave it at pulses, it's just a slight little bounce of the hips. Try that. Good. Squeeze out your glutes. Remember, you have your chair there as an option. You won't be doing the pulses with the chair. Well, maybe you can. Give it a go and see what happens. You can stand up tall. Little pulses just before your bottom hits the chair. You could pulse away. Good. Squeeze out those glutes. One. Up tall. Pulse for two. Now, all the time, you're keeping your chest upright. Again, using dumbbells out in front, will encourage you to stay upright. One, two, good. Tailbone to the floor. We'll get those little pulses in. Okay, well done. Now we have a push press next. So that all we're doing here is not a squat. You're just using the legs, a little bit of power in the legs, to push weight above your head. That's all it is. And this is a good one if you have knee issues. It keeps the knees active and mobile but it's not putting a lot of strain on the knee, going into deep bends or that. Good. So a little pulse, a little, sorry, a little push and press over the head. Use your breath. Breathe in, breathe out on exertion. Good. Well done. That's it. Come on, use that breath, particularly if you're going a bit heavier than me. Great upper body exercise. Because we're bringing the legs in just a little bit, that really does allow you to lift even more weight. Now we split squat again, but this time other leg. So for me, it's the left. All right, we'll get ready. Find your balance. It takes a little while to find the balance. So come on in now and find your balance. Engage your abdominal wall. Great, and let's go and reach up. Remember, you don't have to be doing deep bends of the knee. If you can, that's great. Just a little pulse will do fine. And reach up, reach up. 
good little pulse get that chair if you need it and do the one sided like I showed you there before we started one side shoulder press There's lots of options don't rule yourself out give it a go good reach up now if you can get down a little deeper try that really does challenge your balance here this really wakes up your nervous system making all those little connections between your brain and your body okay now we've got some glute squeezes i get those triceps worked so we're going to squeeze the glutes and then push the weights back behind us okay all right let's go squeeze squeeze good take a moment to squeeze the water out of the sponge the two sponges that are attached to your glutes and then feel a lovely stretch in the front of your shoulder there your upper chest when you push the weights back good if now watch your back try not to arch your back there don't curve your spine keep it very straight that's it good and engage your, your abdominals if you've lost that squeeze squeeze good you should be feeling some work in the back of the arm as well as the glutes that's it great now we have um, a squat and upright row coming next so again if you have issues leave out just go upright row or you could just do like the push press bringing the legs a little bit to help your upper half with the upright row okay part the weights here a little bit upright row keep that chest up for me tailbone down chest up good and up great work keep that head held high now to the ceiling it's great when you can actually slow down each move and really feel what each exercise does for each muscle group great so I'm really feeling the legs here the thighs working the butt cheeks definitely and my upper back upper body there great work love that exercise now we have a seated tricep extension you don't have to do it seated seated as an imaginary chair so sitting down a little bit and then extending the weights if you find that's too much strain on your back just do it upright okay whatever you like there so sit your hips back reach up oops don't try not to bang the weights off your body and extend the arms relax your neck Now, if you want to stand up, if you're feeling a little bit of a twinge in your lower back, no harm, go for that. No problem at all. Sometimes in the morning workouts, the lower back can be quite stiff from being in bed. And you might find getting into these positions a little bit tricky first thing in the day. Good. Try for a few seconds. Oh, I'm really feeling the burn here. Okay, well done. That was a good one. Now more lunging, 45 degree angles. Okay, shoulder in the middle, shoulder press in the middle. Again, if you can't do deep lunges because of knee problems, just step to the side, work your shoulders and step to the other side. Work your shoulders. Okay, so you're just doing side steps. Reach up, slowing this right down. This is our strength workout today. So we're not really looking for cardiovascular exercises. Mind you, I'm getting my heart rate up with some of the weights going above the head. That's it. Exercise one, those split squats always do that for me. That's it, good. Reach up. Reach up. That's it, great work. Try and find that balance because we're going off at an angle here. It does throw your balance a little bit. Okay, right, bicep curl. So we're gonna go back to triceps. Bicep, up, tricep extension, and back down again, okay? So we're combining upper and uh, front and back of arm here. Bicep curl, up, getting a bit of shoulder press in there as well. Let's try that again. Up, extend, and down. Curl, 
up, extend, and back down. Good, so curl the weights up, lift them above your head into shoulder press, extension, and back down. Good, take your time. Again, we're not looking for hundreds of reps with strength training. That's it, good, curl, up, extend, and back down. Nice bit of mobility here for the shoulders. You can really feel the, uh, the flexibility coming into the, the body there. Great, well done. Now we have our planks. So if you don't want to come to the floor, you're on a chair. So these are plank shoulder taps. So you make sure your hands are directly on or flat on the chair and tap out your shoulder. Now, if you're strong enough, come on down to the floor. Okay, and tap and tap. All right, you might like this version, or you can even try it on your knees, down on the floor, if you don't mind getting to the floor. So just choose what level that you would like, chair, on your knee, get a mat if you need it for your, your knees there, <clears throat> excuse me, and tap it out. This is very challenging, you've got to try and keep your hips steady or stable, try not to let them rotate. Good, so you're really working your abdominals here, so pull your belly button into your spine, Good, slow it down, don't be tempted to rush. And they caught, there's a lot of instability there because you're lifting one hand. Now, if you want to, I have a little Pilates mat here for the knees. So we're gonna do hip extension next. So straight in, up onto the chair, if you're not coming to the floor. So same thing, hands on the chair, and drive your foot up to the ceiling. Keep going if you want to on the floor there, and I'll just show people on the chair if you're not coming to the floor. Good, this is where a mirror comes in handy. And just drive your foot up towards the ceiling, okay? I'll get a few in down here on the floor. Stay on one leg, we've got two rounds of this today. And lift, squeeze out those glutes. Great, relax that neck. <laughs> Don't build up tension in your neck area. Ooh, this is a burn. Glutes on fire. Well done. Okay, good work. Now we'll take a little break there. Sorry, I forgot to give her a little um, break or beeper there. Little beep to let us know we're having a break. Now take note of what leg you work there because we're gonna do the next one in the second round. Have a little sip of water and I'll see you back here in a moment. You're very welcome back. I hope you enjoyed your little water break, gave your wrists a little chance to recover as well. Let's get going now with the first exercise and that is our split squat and shoulder press. Okay, I'm gonna hit the beeper. You can go straight away. You don't have to wait for 15 seconds. Let's get ourselves into position. I'll start with that left leg going behind me this time. Weights up on the shoulder, abdominals engaged. Just check on that balance there. Okay, and let's go and lift up. And if you want to change it up round two, you can do one side, second side. All right, just to, it's always good to mix it up for the body. Good, find that balance. If you find it easier just to do two arms, stay with that. Great. Drive those weights up. Good work. Lift up and lift. We've got our back rows coming next. Feeling those legs. Remember little mini lunges if you're having trouble with these. Hold on to the chair if you need help with balance. That's it, good. Well done, okay. Now let's, uh, oh yeah, we sleep with the weights. We are going to go into a back row. So again, make sure that your abdominals are engaged before you go. Stick your hips out behind you and we're gonna row these weights, okay? Let's go. Tuck in those elbows like round one. Good, feeling the posture muscles working here. Good. That's it, just a slight bend in the legs. Now again, I forgot to say round one, if you have trouble with this position here, because it does require a lot of strength, you can use your chair. Okay, just put one hand on the chair and row away. Okay, and pull back, pull back. 
you'd have to do a single arm row with that that these are all we're alternating sides here as you can see but you'd have to do a single arm row there and repeat it on the other side but just in case you want to do it by yourself another day okay dive unders are you ready for this one and this is always a challenging exercise okay remember now step over step over just hold the weights and goblet in front of you to add some resistance if you don't want to do deep bends of the knee so down tailbone down think about your tailbone going down head stays high and imagine you're going under a rope you don't want to catch the rope good under good keep breathing let's hear those big deep breaths get that oxygen flowing around your body and under the rope keep going come on that's it Ooh, feeling those the power in those hips we have our goblet squat coming next good well done great work that was brilliant now we are going to go into goblet and if you want to get a full minute out of it go for it <laughs> two little pulses or if you need that rest take it because that last exercise was challenging right goblet one two chest high for me remember now if you're feeling like you have trouble with 90 degree squats you stick with a box squat to the chair or stay with just little pulses okay well, just whatever you do don't drop your chest forward good sit down squeeze out those glutes one two great work feeling a little bit more flexible this round great up squeeze the bum one two that's it really in, in engaging and switching on the glutes great that was brilliant okay now we have a push press so it's there's no squatting involved we're just using a little bit of power from the legs to help us to drive weight above the head great great shoulder exercise great tummy exercise this one all right push press good breathe out as those weights go above your head breathe in on the way down take a moment to take in the air take a moment to expel the air good push over your head great work brilliant keep your spine straight now don't lean back that's it tummy muscles are tight keeping that spine upright and straight great shouldn't feel any strain in your back good sit down reach above your head and finish out okay now we've the opposite leg split squat right leg for me okay I'm going to get into position early because it does take a while if you rush into it you tend to lose your balance and then it stays with you throughout the whole exercise so take your time getting into it that's it we're not in any rush you want to switch up those shoulders that's good this is actually two shoulder exercises back to back so we're going to have very strong shoulders here and strong lower half as well good and drive the weight up great work push up push up glute squeezes are coming next get ready for those let's feel the power of those glutes now if you want to double up on the shoulders you can watch your back there don't um, lean back keep your spine upright good well done keeping the weights in my hand glute squeezes tricep kickbacks so i want you to squeeze squeeze if you want to get going now and get some squeezes just into the rest time you can if you feel you're able to there we go now let's get the triceps in push back that's it drive it back now even though we've weights in our hand it's still nice to imagine that we're in water i think water makes a great image to try and get you to work your muscles a little bit harder push back push back when the leg comes up don't lift so high that you arch your back so only you raise your leg or your foot high enough so that you can feel the work going on in your glutes but you're not curving your spine 
Okay, I don't want to I don't want you to have a sore back tomorrow. A few seconds to go. We've got one of my favorite exercises coming next, and that is our squat and upright row. Again, use this like the push press. If you have issues with your knees, a little slight little bend just to help the upper half lift some weight, okay? Or if you can, down a little deeper. Sit your hips right back behind you. Let's sit down like you're gonna sit into a chair and drive the weights up. You have an imaginary chair behind you there. Sit your tailbone down, chest is up. Good. This one will kind of get that heart beating a little bit faster than some of the other strength moves because you're working so many limbs here and you're working major muscle groups with the squatting. That's it, good. If you're switching on your abs, of course, they'll be working hard too. That's it, upright row. Let's get another one in. Well done, okay, that was great. Now, how did you get on with this seated tricep extension? First round, I found it very challenging. Now my back was a bit stiff, but you can do it upright. Do it upright if you find the seated one's a little hard. Okay, the seated one, you're just working a little bit more glutes and legs. You're switching them on there a little bit more. Good. Engage your tummy muscles. Drive those weights up to the ceiling. Come on, you can do it. Stand up if you're having trouble now. I think I'll just stay standing for the next one. I have a little bit of a stiff back this morning. Good. Keep those elbows close to the earlobes. Don't let them wander out. 10 seconds to go. Whew, feeling the burn in those triceps. We have our 45 degree angle lunges with a shoulder press next, or just stepping out to the front if you're having issues with lunges, okay? So step and out plus the other side. Okay, let's get ready for this one. All right. Okay, let's go. Step out over the head. Good. And reach. And even though we're not crunching here, we're not doing anything specific for the tummy, like lying down and crunching or doing standing abdominals, we're very much working our tummy right here, lifting those weights above our head. The abdominals have to stabilize the whole body to stop you from falling over. And also they're very much working here with a, a lunge, particularly a lunge going off to the side. It's quite uh, challenging on the coordination and the balance reach up let's try and get one more in i don't like to rush these okay we leave it at that right bicep curl move 11 nearly here nearly done already okay so if you want to go ahead and get a few more reps in go for it or wait for your beep you won't get too many of these in now right join me now when you're ready curl reach up extend your arms good Curl, reach, extension, back down to starting position, reach, extension. So it's kind of like three or even four exercises in one, this. Good, so we're bringing in some tricep extensions again, but we're getting those biceps involved as well. So we're working front of the arm and the back of the arm. Good, that's it. Keep going with a few seconds to go. Not rushing it. I don't want to get too many into the time here. And I'll just finish it out. Okay, great. Now we're down either the chair or the floor next. So you have your plank shoulder taps like I showed you in the first round. Or you can go on your knees. If you want to come to the floor, use some sort of padding. Cushion is fine or if you don't have an exercise mat. If you're on a carpet, you'd be grand. Um, and you're going to tap out your shoulders. Okay, in a box position. You want to give yourself a good challenge before you finish out. Come up onto the toes there. And just watch that you're not rocking your hips. Good. Take your time with it. Tap, return your hand, steady your body. Tap, return your hand, steady your body. No rush. This is not cardio today. We're not running a race here today. 
we're taking our time and engaging our muscles. You're feeling some tightness in around your navel area there, your belly button. You should be feeling tightness. And you can notice I have a wide stance here. So if you, when you, if you want to do it on your own, a wide stance will help you with a little bit more balance. Okay, now I'm onto my little Pilates pillow here. Okay, and I've got my opposite leg to do. Up onto the chair, now if you're not down on the floor. I actually find these harder on the chair. Whatever it is, it must be the angle of them. So this is, it's like you have a tray on your shoe and you're pushing the tray up to the ceiling. Push, push. Don't drop your knee down too low. If you can have a look underneath your legs and keep an eye on that. Good, just make sure your wrists, elbows and shoulders are nice and in line with each other. Good, and push that tray up to the ceiling. Push, release a little bit. Ooh, feeling that tension there all right. <laughs> Keep going, we're nearly there now. Just done with our workout today. Good work. Big pat on the back to you now, that was brilliant. Feeling those glutes a little bit on fire there. Okay, well done, well done. That was a great workout. I love doing specific exercises for the body like that, where you really just zone in and um, get your strength in. Now, if you do have trouble with knee problems and that, try and find an alternative. I know it's very challenging, but like that, I'm not expecting you to go into deep knee bends or deep squats if you have any uh, issues with your joints, and particularly your knee joints. So um, just give it a go. Make sure you do some mobility. And as always, I do link up my cool downs in the description box below the video to try and help you with any issues that you might have with your joints or your muscles in particular. And there's, um, there's a good few mobility exercises in those cool downs on the channel. And it is well worth your while spending the time on that. To me, that's just as important as eating well and uh, doing your strength workouts and your cardio. It isn't just one size fits all. You have to try and um, try and, like like what I did when I was doing my personal training. I used to go in and assess people and we try and tailor the workout to suit that person but that could be completely different to the next client I had. So you're the same, you're the same. So you've got to try and tailor your workouts to suit your needs. So if you see me doing 45 degree angle lunges or something and you say, oh no, I can't do that workout, just try and just do a step forward, step back like I showed you. Just find an alternative. You're still moving your body and that is what we want, okay? Movement, movement is what we need for our bodies every day. Thank you for joining me today. You did a wonderful, wonderful job. And thank you so much for all your support on the channel. Big thumbs up to you and I will see you in the next workout. Have a lovely day.